boy Jory and this is my second video. Today we're going to do skid off. Um, we're going to try and do a little bit differently. Average broke, um, doing a difficult climb and um, show you quickly the route we're going to be doing. So here we are in the, uh, where the hell are we? On the skid off car park, which is there. And we're going to basically take this route up here through Little Man and then we're going to go further up there to Skid Oar and we'll run the back to Skid Oar and then come down Lonsdale Fell okay and then we'll just come down here there's a route down here all the way back to the car park so I'll be coming back in a little while we're going to head off up that way Conservation in the area is absolutely fantastic. They're planting new trees and they're keeping the paths extremely well maintained. So it's very important to try and stick to them so the whole plant follows through. So that's where we're going. Let's go there. We could go that way, but that's naughty, so we're going to go that way because we're not.
top of Old Man up there. There's snow on the top. Despite the cold and the incredibly loud wind, bit by bit the sun started to come out and burn away the mist. It was then we could see the rolling mountains, including Helvellyn, Ben Kafra or Saddleback, and the western lakes as far as the eye could see. Still a little way to go. This is the summit of in the distance and zoom in there and the final stretch So we reached the summit of Skiddaw, 931 metres. It looks like it's sunny, but it's very, very cold, probably just below zero, and the wind was absolutely barbaric, taking the temperature even lower, 55, 60 miles an hour wind. I had to switch the sound off on the video because it was just impossible to enjoy it. Then my battery ran out, so we stopped and got the jet boil on the go, had a cup of coffee, and made our way down to Lonskill Fell. French bulldog over there, distinctly out of place I would say, on a mountain, and there it goes over there, it's running away. Oh, hope it doesn't follow me. As we climbed over the stile, we headed towards Lonskill Fell, looking over at Blencathra. The sun had completely burnt the mist off. Behind us was the hill of Skiddaw and Little Man. As we headed down the slate path, heading towards Lonskill Fell, there was still some snow on the path. And as you can see in the distance, the crag called Burnt Horse. So there's a nice panorama of little man the two little bumps i think one might be less a man and then you drop down from there and you go back up again and that there is the mighty skiddle 
and this must be 15, 16 degrees. Little birds chirping away in the background. Um, so lovely and quiet here. Yeah, on top it was like, what imagine 25% of Everest to be like, it was snowy, freezing cold, 50 mile an hour wind, fog, mist, and neither wonder people probably have a bit of a, a bad turn up there. And then over here, uh, in the distance, is uh, you can just see, I think, cat bells. And that's cat bells, and then, then definitely it'll be Cozy Pike, Grisdale Pike, and then the big one over there. I want to, I want to hazard a guess what that could be. Maybe Scarfell, I don't know, but it's huge. Um, and then obviously over there somewhere. Where was Ben Cathra? Was Ben Cathra over there somewhere? Yeah, Ben Cathra. Wow, so there's Skiddo, and we came down Skiddo, the miss is about to spoil my video, and then we've come down a long way through this path, uh, and Valley is just hidden behind that mist. On our approach to Lonskill Fell, it dawned on me that we had just climbed four summits in one day. Lesser Man at 815 metres, then Little Man at 865 metres, up to Skiddo at 931 metres, and then back down to Lonskill Fell at 715 metres. Not a bad day's work. Huge raven. So this is an absolute shock and awe type of thing. Because if you get to the end of here, oh my god. Whoa. Look at that. That is all the way down. It can get sort of Difficult to see how steep that is, but it is a, a sheer drop. It's so quiet, I can hear the beck. Coming down from Lonskill Fell um, it is very, very steep. I can't even show you the perspective on how steep it is. You never do that. It is really, really steep. Um, from my perspective, it's just ridiculous. You can't even see on the camera. Um, and it just drops off ridiculously down there. It's nice to see over there in the distance is Hell Valley, that's beautiful. Let's see if we can just zoom in on one of my favourite mountains of all time. Hell Valley from, and there's Thilmia, and that's look at the top there, you see a little scar at the top. I believe that's the bottom end of Swirl. Down from Lonskill Fell, down our steep path to the Cumbrian Way, 
I realised there was probably a better route. And coming down from Skidor, we should have headed to Skidor House and then onto the Cumbrian Way and followed it all the way around, which would have been a much more gentle ascent. As we're coming back to the car park, it's just dawned on us what actually we've been up. And uh, that's quite a severe ascent, a windy path, while the Coyote Roadrunner path that runs right to the top. I did find Skiddor harder than I expected. The first part was excruciating, but once I was warmed up after about an hour, I was getting my second wind and I was fine. Quite flat up Skiddor and then Lonskill fell is easy. The descent from Lonskill fell back to the Cumbrian Way was, was, was terrible and I definitely would go another way next time.